Tonight on Northern California's Park Wildfire, it's been one week since the arson-related inferno started. At last check, just hours ago, the flames were only 18% contained there. It's California's fifth largest wildfire in history and has burned nearly 400,000 acres. But there is more help on the way. The New Jersey State Forest Fire Service is sending crews to several states out west that are battling wildfires right now. Action News reporter Brianna Smith live for us in the Satellite Center with the details on this story. Brianna. Gray, the Forest Fire Service chief says crews spend about two weeks on the West Coast fighting those massive fires and then they rotate. Firefighters say it's important for them to lend a helping hand to help protect the people and property. We're one of the first folks they call to Come help. And more than 40 members of the New Jersey Forest Fire Service answered that call. The firefighters left for California, Montana, Oregon, and Utah in June. We've been doing it quite a while, so it's my 25th season. David so. Ackie, who is the it's assistant state northern fire northern warden, California. recently returned from battling wildfires in Northern California, including the Hill Fire. Cal Fire says it burned more than 7,200 acres in the Six Rivers National Forest. A lot of the um, Firefighting equipment might not be able to make it in there, so that's when the hand crews kind of come into play and, you know, we can walk in and put hose lays in and, and cut fire line. Aki says the rugged landscape and weather could create significant challenges for the crews on the ground. 100 degrees just about every day we were there. So, um, so yeah, and the ele elevation and, and uh, terrain plays a huge, huge role. It's that long hike into those remote areas where these guys are hiking for hours just to get to where the fire is actually at. Then they have to go to work. Then they have to hike back out. But State Fire Warden Bill Donnelly says these East Coast firefighters are more than prepared to help extinguish the flames out west. We appreciate the, uh, you know, the help they've given us over years of uh, some of the things we've had to deal with. So we feel that, you know, we do have a lot of folks that are highly trained and experts, if you will, in this field. So it's nice to be able to return the favor. And Chief Donnelly says he expects his crews to spend another six to eight weeks out on the West Coast or until they're, they are no longer needed. Live in the Satellite Center, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray? Okay, Brianna, thanks for the update. We switch now to that exclusive.